It's time for business news with Richard Southern and Richard uh, provincial election looming in June and housing affordability bound to be a big issue. Absolutely. You and I talk about it all the time here in the uh, City News Business Report, Erica, about the rapidly increasing price of housing. Government certainly wants to, to do something about it. And uh, the Ford government convened two months ago, the Housing Affordability, uh, Affordability Task Force. Uh, it this morning came out with its report. It made 55 recommendations aimed at tackling the rising housing prices by basically boosting supply of homes. It intends to do that by increasing density and limiting consultations. Uh, the proposed changes, Erica, would uh, lessen the power that cities have over zoning developments, giving the province more authority to impose uh, zoning standards. The report also recommends eliminating municipal policies that prioritize so-called neighborhood character or heritage buildings. It also called on the government to legislate timelines for development. Will the Ford government do any of this? Will it bring in new housing legislation ahead of the election? I asked the housing minister today. I'm very optimistic about a suite of both legislative and regulatory uh, improvements. Minister, the NDP say you should be increasing the non-resident speculation tax for housing. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I think we have to do some demand side changes, so I do think we need to look at that. Uh, the report found, uh, not surprisingly, Erica, housing prices in Ontario have nearly tripled in just the last 10 years, far outpacing income growth. We'll see if any of this makes a difference. Certainly something to watch in the lead up to the June 2 election, Erica. Okay, and last week, Richard, we started talking about tax season, and there are some rebates that Ontario residents actually might not know about. Absolutely. Uh, quite a few of them uh, that the government has brought in recently. So uh, let's take a look at some things you that might apply to you. The jobs training tra tax credit is, is one. If you're training for a new job, there's a rebate to be had there. The uh, seniors uh, home safety tax credit, that's been around now for, I think, uh, two years. You can get a, a $10,000 back if uh, you're making improvements to your home, safety improvements as a senior. Uh, low income workers credit, the uh, child uh, tax credit is another one. Uh, and um, I talked to the finance Minister Peter Bethenthalvy about this, who makes a good point. He says, you know, even if uh, you, you, you're not making any income, you can, some of these could still apply to you on your 2021 tax return. They can be claimed even if no tax is owed, like the Ontario Jobs Training Tax Credit, which helps with expenses to, to get uh, trained and sharpen your skills. Uh, the Seniors Home Safety Tax Credit, which helps fund, uh, you know, guardrails and other way, uh, ways to make your home uh, more uh, friendly for seniors. Erica, there's also that staycation tax credit. Keep your receipts if you're staying in an Ontario hotel or motel or bed and breakfast or even campground this year. You'll be able to claim some of that as well. Right, I got to take advantage of that. Okay, and finally, Canada's Wonderland going on a hiring spree, hoping that things will return, return to normal uh, this spring, Richard. Been a while since we hit the roller coasters, hasn't it, Erica? It's been so long, I miss those roller coasters. <laughs> You're still, we're going to get you on these, Erica. We're going to go. They're going to open, Wonderland says, April 30th for what hopefully will be its first full season in like two years. And the park, planning on going on a hiring spree, it's posted over 4,000 positions, uh, both seasonal and full-time, that it's looking to fill. Wonderland was closed the entire 2020 season and was open only a part of last season. So there you go. We'll be back on the coasters, Erica, hopefully, before you know it. I can't wait. Okay, thanks, Richard. That's business editor Richard Southern. Thanks.